Welcome to the short introductory video looking at the portfolio management functionality in Biz Design's Enterprise Studio. Enterprise Studio is a collaborative business design platform enabling and empowering business transformation faster with less cost and less risk. Enterprise Studio integrates various disciplines including business process management, enterprise architecture, portfolio management and other disciplines. Now, for portfolio management, whether it's managing a portfolio of projects, applications, or any other type of enterprise assets, we use the same techniques and disciplines. Rigorous and holistic portfolio management allows us to link the transformation of a portfolio to business strategy and execution. It helps us improve business agility through optimized capital and expenditure allocation, and ultimately helps us make smarter and faster investment decisions by comparing future state alternative that leads to the elimination of unaligned and duplicative portfolio assets and associated costs. So within Enterprise Studio, we have the ability in our repository to just store entire catalogues of different components, and we call these portfolios. In this example, we have a set of applications or an application portfolio, and this is all going to be stored in our repository. And we'd like to bring these under a portfolio and manage them as a portfolio of applications. So to do this, what we're going to do is simply use what we call a coach view that directly drops into view that lets us see a portfolio of applications. In this example, by clicking here, we come into an application portfolio management view that contains a set of applications that are under management, and in this case, are all related to our ability to get customer behavior insights. By zooming in further, we see that this particular portfolio is populated by five applications. We can see the names here. Now let's say we want to add a brand new application into this portfolio. We can do so very easily. Once we add this new application, it is now going to be part of my portfolio of applications that are going to be assigned a set of metrics. And it is these metrics that are going to drive a dashboard to help us make some analytical decisions about our portfolio. Now, we'll see that this dashboard currently does not have that new application we just created. Because until we have scored that application, now we can switch into a different view and we can see that there are no scores in this case for application costs, business value, risk and technical costs against this new application. To add this data, we have a couple of different options. The first way is for us to simply go into the edit tool and we can directly access the score value items like business value of that application, change that on a scale of 1 to 10, or the technical value of that application on a scale of 1 to 10. Now we'll notice that the risk score cannot be edited directly, and that's because in this case the risk score is actually a calculated metrics based off these other metrics of risk impact and risk probability. So in this case, perhaps the impact rating of this application being unavailable is set to extreme. And for the probability of this happening, we can set in this example the value to likely. So now we see we get an overall risk score of very high that is calculated based on the set of values that are underneath. Another way to get this data into a repository is to imagine a scenario where I'm simply going to export this data out to a spreadsheet. So now we can put the data into a spreadsheet form, and from there we can say email to someone for completion. The generated spreadsheet shows that there are values that a person can put in. It contains blank cells for missing values, and we can use the drop-down menus that are already containing the allowable values I can select from. It also locks cells from which values are calculated. So for example, the risk value is not something I can edit directly for the reasons mentioned before. So now what we can do is I simply ask someone to email that spreadsheet back to us. And once completed, we can go ahead and re-import the spreadsheet from Excel. And after we've completed this step, we can simply go over to our dashboard and we'll see that this new application is in now in fact one of the most expensive applications in my portfolio based on costs and risk. And this example, given the characteristics of this new application, it's something we want to go ahead and evaluate for elimination from the portfolio. So we can manipulate and consume data within Enterprise Studio, but we can also expose a lot of that data out within BizDesign's Horizon portal. With Horizon, we can create more comprehensive dashboards that roll up data at a higher level. But we can always drill into the repository and get whatever little detail that we want. So for example, we can look at this view and understand the greater connection of applications within different portfolios, for example, customer-facing business processes. 
We can also select individual applications and do ad hoc querying and interrogation of the entire portfolio asset. For example, with this particular application, we have a set of favorite properties that we're always interested in. We have a feature that allows us to take one of these properties and color the entire application landscape and generate a legend. So in this example, we are coloring the landscape of applications by their risk score. If we wanted to drill into another view, for example, generate a view that shows us a comparison of the maintenance costs of the applications in the portfolio, we can grab an application, select the property we're interested in, and create an ad hoc report that shows us information. In this case, we have a pie chart, the overall maintenance cost of my particular application portfolio. If we don't like the pie chart, then we can choose from a number of different report types to generate these ad hoc reports and suit our needs. So we can easily answer common questions quickly. So for example, we might get a line of business owner for this function asking the question, show me the top three costs of my applications within my portfolio. And we can very easily answer this with a simple chart. So this was a brief overview into the portfolio management functionality in BizDesign's Enterprise Studio. Thank you for watching this video. And if you'd like to receive a more complete demonstration of all the capabilities within BizDesign's Enterprise Studio, and how we help customers transform their business faster with less cost and less risk, please contact us.